Welcome back to AgriTalk in Melrose, Minnesota. We're at the Central Minnesota Credit Union here in Melrose. They are celebrating Member Appreciation Day. I tell you what, we have folks here that are on their second dilly bar. They are, they are one up on me, and that's hard to do when it comes to eating. You folks, you're good. So, uh, and they can even clap and hold a dilly bar at the same time. I am so impressed. These are talented folks here, and we are enjoying a June Dairy Month as well as a Member Appreciation Day here at the Central Minnesota Credit Union, working with our affiliate KASM. Well, breakfast was held here earlier today, and let's talk with the man who fed everybody. Jeff Ahrens is with us with uh, Greenwald Pub. Jeff, thanks for being with us. Good turnout today. Yes, thank you, Mike. Yeah, we did it. There are people coming and going all day, all morning long, ever since we got here, so it's going good for everybody, so. Well, I missed breakfast. Now, that doesn't happen very often, but I've heard a lot of good reports that all the food was good. Yep, it is good, and uh, we'll make sure we have breakfast for you after we're done. That right, sounds good. Now, you work closely with uh, Greenwald Farm Center. Tell us about that connection between the two businesses. Yes, we do. We kind of work together. Uh, he sells a lot of small machinery, bigger machinery nowadays, and whenever Tom gets a chance, he sends them down our way if they need a tire fixed or whatever. We kind of work together. He gets them, sells them a little, and I feed them and let them go, keep them happy. So you appreciate uh, th that connection very much, that connection between a business in town and what happens out on the farm. Yes, uh, we do a lot of ag with agriculture and the dairy farmers. We have people coming in every day that are in hogs and dairy and a little bit of everything. Everybody comes around and talks to each other and it's like a family. So you are very much aware of when the farm economy is going well, that's good for your business. Absolutely. It helps everybody out. So how do you view uh, your role in working with agriculture? Oh, well, I grew up on a dairy farm, so it's still in my blood yet, but we do serve a lot of dairy products. We serve a lot of chocolate milk, a lot of white milk. We use all real dairy products. We serve cheese from the local plants, so we try to use all real dairy products in our. We've gotten awards for using the dairy products all the time, so it's been going good. Right, so here we have a big user of dairy products. That's a good deal, right? Let's hear it for them. Push those dairy products. Yep, yep, that's what helps. I mean, we, we do a lot of dairy products. We use fresh milk from Stony Creek Dairy, and we try to do everything local. Try to keep as low from our processing plant, meat, meat processing plants, and everything like that, so. Now, working with the farm center, so you get a chance to talk with a lot of the farmers in the area, right? Oh, yes. Yes, we do. They come and go. Like I said, they're always needing parts or whatever. and they got to have something to eat. If it's around noon, they come in for a dinner special. Even if it's a little after dinner, they order short order, whatever it takes. Got to have something quick to keep going. That's right. Now, how did this uh, kind of this partnership between uh, your business and the farm center get started? Well, I moved to town in 1994, and Tom was already going here in town, the Greenwood Farm Center, and it just started growing. We just kind of worked together small, and after a while, we started growing closer and working more together with each other. So it's a good example of how businesses in town and, and a business serving out in the country can work together. We Something we need more of. Yep, that's it. If everybody works together, it'll work. And you, when you're the guy that's providing the food for an event, you're like the most popular guy there. Yeah, yep. It's like the dilly bars in town. Unless you run out of food and there's still a line, then you could wind up not being the most popular again. Well, we never let that happen. We come with always more than enough food to make sure we have plenty of food because there's nothing worse than running out of food for anybody. You don't want to do that. No. And this, this group looked really hungry this morning. Did, did you have trouble fe getting enough food for all of them? Well, they knew they were coming for dilly bars, so Diane Haskamp was going to keep them eating. So they had to save room for that, too. So. Oh, I see. They saved room for the dilly bars. Yeah. Is that it? Oh, so, yeah. so that's why there's some breakfast left for me. Oh, yeah. Yep, there's some breakfast left for you, too. All right, very good. So what kind of events do you serve? Like this, a customer appreciation day, but these types of events are the types of things you do? Yeah, we do any kind of uh, catering out. We do on the dairy farms. We do have, we've dated some dairies when they're starting up. We've done that. We have a big rest barn restaurant in Greenwall. We do weddings up to 375. We do almost anything. We've been out on the farms. We've been in implement dealers, wherever we can go to serve food. Farmers do like to eat, don't they? Yep, and it's, everybody's got to eat to stay healthy. That's right, especially dairy products. Yep, and dairy products are good for you. Now, do farmers eat more when prices are good or when prices are bad? I don't think that makes a lot of difference, but it's a lot easier for everybody to eat when prices are good for everybody. The attitude's a lot better. Right, right. it makes it a lot simpler for everybody to get along, and 
It makes a lot simpler, and everybody can make an honest, honest wage and be able to feed their kids and stuff like that. Very good. Jeff, thank you very much, and uh, we appreciate you being a part of the activities here today. And I know a lot of these people probably eat a lot of your meals, so does he do a good job, folks? Well, yeah, I, there you go. It doesn't get any better than that. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mike. Very good. Thanks, Jeff. Jeff Aarons with Greenwald Pub. As he said, he works closely with Greenwald Farm Center, and a lot of the uh, events around this area helps uh, cater those events. And uh, I always make it a point to know who provides the food in the areas that I'm in, so I'm, it's good to know you. So looking forward to that. All right. We're going to talk more with uh, some of the uh, businesses in this area and the connection with agriculture here in Melrose, Minnesota. It is Member Appreciation Day at the Central Minnesota Credit Union in Melrose. Back with more on AgriTalk.